Hey guys, welcome to your fourth Java game development tutorial. And this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to detect whether the ball has hit the edge of the screen. So as so the user, so the player of our game is not allowed to move outside the screen with the ball. So um, let's get started. We're going to need to implement these methods in our key press thing. Uh, but first of all, guys, uh, I'm going to want you to say for each of these methods. I'm going to need you to say plus equals minus 5 because our ball moves way too slowly at the moment. <clears throat> so instead of 1 pixel at a time, we're going to make it move 5 pixels at a time. Plus equals minus 5 and plus equals plus 5. Well, what happened here? Minus 5, there we go. Now, to do this, we need to implement some if statements. We need to say if the ball reaches. Um, the if the ball reaches the edge, i.e. it reaches either 0 or 250 at either of the coordinates, we want it to stop and no longer move forwards, or whatever other direction. So, as you know, key pressed is automatically called when a key is pressed. So if left is pressed, but if x is less than or equal to 0, We want to keep x at the coordinate zero, and this means what this does. What this does is that if so, okay, if the key left is pressed. Oh, and we need to add an else statement here. So if the key left is pressed, um, we're going to check first of all if it's less than or equal to zero. If it is, just keep it at zero, no matter how long you hold it for. Um, if it's not less than or equal to zero, just let it move move freely as it likes. So we're going to need to add this to every single. 1x is greater than or equal to 250 because this time it's the right side of the screen. Um, x equals 250. Else. Oh, and because it's the edge of the screen and the ball is drawn from the bottom left corner, we're going to need to say we're going to need to minus the 15 from it, or I'll just minus 20 make it easier so that the ball hits the right hand edge rather than the left hand edge so it doesn't go a bit off the screen um, same with this one if x or y rather if y is less than or equal to zero or twenty rather because uh, that's the ball's height or it's slightly more than the ball's height, but just to make sure it doesn't go off the screen. Uh, y equals 20. Else. And finally, if y is greater than or equal to 230, like we did last time, y equals 230. Else. That. And again, the reason I'm doing 230 instead of 250, which is the size of the screen, is because the ball is drawn from a specific point. So the ball is drawn from the left hand side. So for x, we don't need to do anything. But when we reach this hand side, we need to minus that width and height of it off. Otherwise, it would carry on going off the screen until it reached the edge of the object. Um, anyway, let's test this out now. Let's run. And as you can see, our ball moves a whole lot faster now. And when we hit the top of the screen, it's not letting us go any further. Same with the right hand side. Same with the bottom. And same with the side. So that's uh, basic collision detection. Uh, not much anything involved, really. Just a simple if statement. See if it reaches the edge. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about... Um, collision detection with other objects and also going more into the paint method how you can style and make objects uh, better so i'll see you then thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you later